Hey guys, welcome back to the House of Hughes. I am literally shook over what I'm about to show you in today's video. You are not going to believe what we caught on our security camera in Blakely's room last night. I am just like shocked and I picked up my camera the second it happened so you guys got like a real genuine reaction. I'm gonna be inserting that footage for you. It is actually the next morning and I am just getting my pre-workout and BCAAs together from Bucked Up. I'm gonna head off to the gym. We have a really busy day today. Hunter is staying home after the gym for a couple hours so that I can go get my hair extensions moved up. Excuse my morning voice. I probably sound a little bit like a zombie right now. But I'm gonna go get in a great lift your girl's on her cycle, so she's feeling just a little bit hormonal, but we're gonna push through and have a great day. But let me just tell you, you guys are about to be freaking shook over the footage you're about to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert it for you here. I am not making this up. I'm shaking. I just put Blakely to bed in her crib. <gasps> she was in her crib. With the door closed. I'm in a state of shock. How did you do that? Oh my gosh! You guys! Did you watch that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta put you on speaker because you're on camera. Did you just watch our daughter crawl out of her crib? She literally <laughs> just <turned laughs> <the leg> over. <laughs> With ease. Hunter, look at her. She just, you guys, look at her. She's just coming down the stairs again. Okay, wait, we gotta go for a third time. No, I know you did. I'm panicking. What do I do? Oh, she's so proud of herself. She's so happy. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Come home. Love you. Bye. Little update, you guys. Hunter is now home, thank goodness. And I'm gonna show you what he is doing to try and remedy this situation so we don't lose sleep for the rest of our lives. Because when I say I've never been so afraid of her, I've never been so afraid of her. This is what Blakely and I are doing while Hunter tries to tear apart the crib to see if we can remove the bottom of it. Give that to mommy. Yes, that is a new door handle that we're gonna have to put on if we can't find a way to keep her in her crib. She's watching Baby Shark. Then we've got Dad over here. He is trying to find a way. To keep Blakely in her room. Yes, to remove the bottom part of the crib so we can just have the mattress on the floor, but she's still inside of the crib. This was the world's cheapest crib from Ikea, so it's probably not gonna work, but we're manifesting that it will. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> This is like a random MacGyver type situation. If you don't have trust in your husband through this process, then now might be the time. Hunter, look at your forearm things. It's a walk. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is scary to say the least. Okay. Oh, sissy, you run my life. Okay, moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm sure some of you are wondering why we don't just get likely a toddler bed. Wait, wait, wait. And the reason is because she's an animal and she like won't sleep in a toddler bed unless we're sleeping with her and she won't fall asleep for like two hours. It's just, it's bad. Like she won't sleep in a big bed. She won't even sleep in Hunter and I's bed. She won't sleep in Beckham's bed. Like I am going to have a hard time transitioning her and I was hoping I wouldn't have to, especially not before she turns two. Holy cow. So this is scary. <laughs> Just lay this crib down. 
and put her mattress, and that that's granted that there's no space at all, so she can't like pinch herself. But I think by the thickness of the mattress, that's exactly. Wait, you got the bottom off? Yeah. Wait, I literally didn't see that. Oh. I'm so sorry. Um, can you fix this? Here, Mama's got to help. Oh. <laughs> what did Blakely just say? Can you fix this carpet? Okay, we have done it. So, look at that. It's empty, so we're hoping that the mattress... Please, please, please. <gasps> oh! Hunter Hughes! You animal. We're gonna have to raise it up just a little. Wait, I think it's gonna work. What do you mean? There's just a little bit of space here. That's okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna raise it just a little Wait. bit. But it's okay, it, it did work. We Explain to me why that would be a problem. Her hand gets stuck, her arm gets stuck in the middle of the night. I don't think it's gonna get stuck at all. We're gonna put something to raise it so that it can't. Hmm, okay. Shark. <laughs> Shark. Okay, we put like a tiny little board underneath the mattress, so there's really not a gap anymore. So she should be totally good. We're almost to the moment of truth. We probably won't film actually putting her in bed, but I will try and screen record it on my camera as long as she's not crying. I'm hoping she doesn't cry. Oh, I don't know if we should do a blanket because she's used to the mattress. It's not oh, okay, well, we'll keep you updated. Okay, she's we think we've it. secured it. Here is what the finished product of the homemade bed looks like. And you put a pillow in there. Good job, Hunsey. Blakely can sense it's coming. And then we've got this little camera that we'll have downstairs just to keep an eye on her. And we have a second camera right there. So we've got eyes on this chick. Here's some tears. She's realizing she can't get out. This is good news. Okay, here, we'll show you her. Okay, that's heartbreaking, but she'll go to bed and now she can't get out, so she'll get some good rest. Tell me that my life did not just end when that happened. Isn't that insane? I just saw all of my nap times and like enjoying my time at night flash before my eyes. I've never been so afraid of her, you guys. It was terrifying. It was also like so funny and so cute to capture it on camera. So I'm gonna head to the gym because your girl is on a time crunch just because Hunter will be on a time crunch for my appointment this afternoon. So we will chat more about this after I get my lift in and I'll tell you guys if last night ended up working out because I know I left you on like a little bit of a cliffhanger. But holy cow. Okay, the terrible tooth, they're coming out as full force. I'm sorry, but did your child crawl out of their freaking crib before they turned two years old? Like, I need to know, so drop it below in the comments. Surprise, Mama is back from the gym and I am just making a bagel sandwich for breakfast. I went off of my bagel sandwich train for a second, but now I'm back on because they are so good, I just can't stay away. I've got this crazy little cat here with me. Beckham's at preschool this morning, so it's just Sis and I, and she's enjoying some candy corn because she got a hold of it and mommy thought she deserved one, huh? Oh, be careful! Sissy, you gotta chew good, baby. What is on your finger? Is that cheese? Sissy, is that cheese? Have you just kind of been off the hinges lately? Say, well, just a little, Mom. Should we go on a walk? Blakely, do you wanna go on a walk with Mommy? The cheese is very distracting this morning. Uh, mommy. mommy? Do you wanna go on a walk with Mommy? Uh. Very distracted. Before moving on with today's video, I want to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Rocket Money. Rocket Money is such a great partner for Hunter and I. You guys know that we have set some serious financial goals. You know that I am always trying to cut back on my spending and it's actually during the winter where we really line up all of our finances and set goals for the next year. And Rocket Money is the perfect partnership for us so I'm really, really excited to chat with you guys about them today. So Rocket Money is an all-in-one finance platform that is going to help you save more and spend less, which I think we all could improve 
move on. The personal finance manager is actually going to help you manage your subscriptions. It's also going to help you lower your bills, monitor your credit score, and build your savings, but all in one place. So it's gonna help you stay really, really organized. One of the most appealing things about the app for me personally is canceling unwanted subscriptions. So you know how we all go through our phone apps and we're buying subscriptions here and there and then we totally forget about them and we're being charged on a monthly basis? Well, Rocket Money is going to safely and securely identify reoccurring subscriptions and cancel anything that's unwanted with just one simple tap. Rocket Money is going to do all of the hard work for you, which is exactly what I need. Another really cool feature of the app is helping you lower your bills. You simply upload a photo of your bill and tap a button and Rocket Money can actually negotiate your bills for you which is so cool. This ranges from your internet service bills to your cable bills to your phone bills, and Rocket Money does all of it for you. It will also help you monitor your credit score, which has been huge for me. Hunter's always had a slightly higher credit score than I have, so it's been really helpful in me wanting to increase my credit score. You get complete access to your credit report and your credit history. Rocket Money will actually alert you with anything that impacts your score, any important changes, and then actually offers you ways to improve it. There's also a ton of other benefits to the app, like setting up a smart savings account or setting budgets. You can grow your net worth. I mean, they already have 3.4 million users, which shows how trusted they are as a company. To try out the app for free and unlock more features with the premium version, head to rocketmoney.com slash house of Hughes, or you can go ahead and just click the link in my description box. You guys know that Hunter and I have some huge financial goals this year, and I'm so glad that Rocket Money is going to help us accomplish our goals. So I want to say thank you so much again to Rocket Money for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Okay. Okay, I'm about to head to my hair appointment. It's nothing too exciting. I'm getting my color done in a couple weeks, but I'm going in for a hair extension tightening because when you have rows of extensions, they like grow out and you have to get them tightened and moved up. So it should only take about an hour. So I am just taking like a little snack. These are the chomps that I get from Trader Joe's. And then my protein coffee is just a fair life and a shovel shot of espresso that we get off Amazon. And I'm gonna head to that appointment. Hunter is watching the kids, so I didn't need to hire a babysitter, which was so nice. And I will check in as soon as we are done. Okay, mommy is home, and I just am getting this handsome guy out of bed. Hi, baby. He just woke up, and it sounds like he had a great day at school and a good nap, yeah? You wanna crawl around? Here, baby. We'll let him crawl around for a minute. There you go, baby. There you go. Did you just wanna chill? Look how freaking cute he is. Oh, bless. Bless you! Big sneeze! Wow! That was crazy, baby! My hair tightening appointment went great. I was gone for a couple hours, and it's always kind of nice to leave in the middle of the day and just have like some mommy time. So that was really good. The kids are just waking up, so I'm going to feed them when we actually are picking my mom up from the airport tonight. She was visiting my brother who lives out of state, which I am so jealous because he has the three cutest kids ever who I only get to see a few times a year, but I'm glad that she went and had fun. But I just have to tell you guys about seriously the craziest night last night. So you guys saw most of it on video already, so I'll kind of like update you. We removed what I kind of showed you, the bottom of the crib, and then just put the crib on top and the mattress on the floor, and it's worked great. So she took her nap today, she fell asleep last night, and everything seems good to go. Hunter did buy like a new handle for the door, so when she gets tall enough to crawl out of this, then we'll probably be ready for a toddler bed and make that transition. But right now, I just don't think she's ready for a toddler bed. She's just, she wouldn't vibe with it. Just trust me on that. We've tried to have her sleep in like grown-up beds, and she does not like it. She is very comfortable with her crib, so I'm so glad we found a solution. But I just could not believe that that little chica, just the second I closed the door, I mean, she looks like she was doing gymnastics in there. I mean, talk about sticking the landing. It looks like she had done that like a hundred times. I was dying. I mean, seriously, you guys, the shock that I had. So I had gone downstairs after I originally put her to bed last night, and I'm like getting my snacks ready because you guys know I like to vibe after my kids go to bed. So I'm like grabbing a snack, and I'm about to sit down on the couch, and I'm in the kitchen, and I hear like a door open, and it's just like not what I was expecting. And so I kind of thought like, am I imagining things? But then I felt like I could hear Blakely's fan really well, and I thought I heard like a little footstep. And I was like, no, there is no way. So I walk out of my kitchen into my family room to like look up over the landing, and I just see my daughter peering down at me. And I'm like, 
Are you kidding me? Like, mind blown. I could not believe it. It scared me to death. I was like, <gasps> seriously, it shocked me so bad. It scared me. But then I was just like, oh my gosh, what do I do? Like, literally, what do I do? I can't contain this little thing. <laughs> I was like, I'm so afraid of you. <laughs> but it all worked out. And I'm just like, oh my goodness, you guys, the phases of motherhood. It's just like right when you think you have everything under control, boom, your two-year-old reminds you that they're the ones running the show. But she's so freaking cute. I can't believe she's growing up. It's just so crazy. I'm glad I picked up the camera, though, because that was my genuine reaction. I was, like, shook to my core. Hunter thought I was pranking him 100%, and I'm like, no, babe, this is not a prank. But we're gonna have a great day today. I'm so glad we've got that under control. I'm gonna go feed this cute little guy. He's like laying on the floor now, just vibing. We're gonna go get Sissy from her crib. And we have a fun video coming for you tomorrow. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's vlog here. I hope that you enjoyed it. Okay, what do we wanna tell everybody? Beckham has something to remind you. What do you wanna say? What do you wanna say? No, the camera. You just wanna hug mommy. Beckham wants to remind you guys to be brave like Beckham, and we will catch you in our next vlog. Bye! Can you blow kisses?